Hi, this is Forest Management and Silviculture. Silviculture is the science and art of reproducing and managing forests to obtain sustained yields of forest crops and other benefits through the application of silvics. Again, silviculture forest management is the science and art of reproducing and managing forests. The objective of a silvicultural system is to permit the harvesting of the mature timber crop while providing for the regeneration of the forest. So as we're making a plan to harvest a forest, we already have a plan in place of what the next crop is going to be and our methods of regeneration. Silviculture measures are divided into two major groups. The first one is those that are applied to young growing stands and those that are followed in harvesting a mature stand. And so that will be part two and part three today of this screencast. The silvicultural characteristics, the characteristics of the trees govern the handling of a particular forest type or species. So the five characteristics that are most important to us when we're trying to grow a forest are the degree or tolerance to shade. And we refer to those tree species as shade tolerant or shade intolerant. The second one is the wind firmness of the root system. The third one is the ability to grow in pure or mixed stands. That we talked about when we were learning our trees on our tree identification cards. The growth in even-aged, all-aged, or uneven-aged stands. Think about the forest we were at the second week of the school year, or the forest you've been hiking in, and think about which of those classifications they fit into. And the last one is the relative ease or difficulty of obtaining reproduction. And for this one, think about the Colorado State Forest Nursery and how they have to worry about the germination and meeting the dormancy requirements of the seeds in order for a new crop to grow in the field or in the greenhouse. So again, it's the characteristics of the trees that tell us how we should manage the forest. The reproduction methods, replacing one age class of trees with another or starting in a forest dominated by a non-forest uh, plant community requires, first of all, the altering of the existing plant community Second, treat the surface of the soil to provide conditions for reproduction. And third, of course, provide sources of reproduction, which is vegetative, which is cuttings, or seed. So now I'd like you to stop and do a quick activity on the silvicultural characteristics. I'd like you to choose three tree species, look up using a chart, and determine what the silvicultural characteristics of are of the three tree species that you chose.